<laughs> Praise the Lord. Right to Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Beverly Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Leviticus chapter 2, and we're going to look at verse 11. And it reads, No meat offering which ye shall bring unto the Lord shall be made with leaven. For ye shall burn no leaven nor any honey in any offering of the Lord made by fire. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brothers, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. A powerful woman of God. Um, her name is Sister Alexandra. And she goes by the screen name, the uh, YouTube channel of Sealed by the Blood. She has left and produced an awesome YouTube video. And I'm going to put that on my description box. Please look at it. Awesome. We see that in um, Leviticus chapter 2, verse 11. God is giving Moses instructions when it comes to the meat offering, the, the meat offering. And the meat offering is one of the five offerings. That's a picture of what Jesus Christ is going to do at the cross. There's, you know, you have the burnt offering, the meat offering, the peace offering, the trespass offering, the sin offering. And in this offering, which again, is pointing to the finished work of what Jesus Christ is going to do on the cross. The instructions is, is no meat offering which ye shall bring unto the Lord shall be made with leaven. For ye shall burn no leaven, nor any honey in any of the offering of the Lord made by fire. So specific that Jehovah God is telling Moses when it comes to the meat offering, there is, there is to be no leaven. In any way, shape, or form. You know, during our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's earthly ministry, uh, came an occasion when uh, religious leaders of the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees came up to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and was pestering him and, and um, asking him and getting into an argument with him by saying, oh, okay, if you're who you say you are, why, why don't we see a sign? Do a sign, do a sign. Even though he has done all these other signs, like you know, um, healing the sick, um, casting out devils, and, and as a matter of fact, he had did this miraculous signs where he fed um, multitudes with limited supplies on two occasions. But yet the religious leaders came to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, and tempted him to do a sign. Jesus um, basically said to them, you know, you're wicked. Uh, adulterous generations. The only sign that you're going to have is the sign of uh, of Noah, because if even if they did uh, did this miracles that they wanted to see right then and there, they still wouldn't have believed. And then Jesus then goes to his disciples after this encounter with the religious leaders. And if we turn to Matthew chapter 16, and then let's pick that up. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 6, and this is also in Mark chapter 8 and Luke chapter 12. But in Mark chapter 6, excuse me, Matthew chapter 16, verse 6, Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And so he's He's telling them to beware of this leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of the Sadducees, these religious leaders that he just earlier had this back and forth with. And verse 7 of Matthew chapter 16, and they reason among themselves saying, is it because we have no bread? See, you know, they, they didn't understand like what Jesus was meaning when he said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And said, is it because we have no bread? And then if you kind of follow this, um, this, 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 um, this discussion that Jesus is having with disciples, verse 8 of Matthew chapter 16, which when Jesus perceived and he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because ye have no bread? 
Do you not under yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the, the seven loaves of the four thousand and how many baskets ye took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I spec not to you concerning bread? That's that's not what I'm talking about when I'm saying the leaven of the Pharisees and leaven that beware of that, you know. Because he's like saying, like, you know, when I did the miracles of the, the, the multitudes and, and, and with the five loaves and the two fishes of the, the 5,000 men, not including women, there was, what, 12 basket left over. And then with the with the with the 4,000, there was only seven loaves, but then they were all fed and there was seven baskets left over. So why are we talking about that? Verse 11 of Matthew chapter 16. How is it then that ye do not understand that I spake not spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees? Then understood how that day he bade them not. Excuse me. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware the leaven of the bread, but the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. You see, the leaven that Jesus is talking about of the Pharisees and the Sadducees is the false doctrines that the Pharisees and the Sadducees are preaching and teaching. You see, the Pharisees was these hyper-religious, hyper-legalistic uh, um, um, leaders who was teaching in such a way that they were judgmental and condemning to the listeners. And they believed that it was something that you had to do. You, you, you know, and, and so you, you had to do it right. And if you didn't do it right, they'd be judgmental and condemning to you. Whereas on the other hand, the Sadducees or their doctrine was such that they they didn't believe in the resurrection. They didn't believe in the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus. They didn't believe in miracles. And so there was no room to have faith. So they would always reason, the Sadducees, they would always reason that, um, you know, with science and human logic. And whereas the, the, the Pharisees, they were hyper-legalistic. And expecting you to do it. And if you didn't do it, they were judgmental and condemning. And then on the other hand, with the Pharisees, they didn't believe in the supernatural. And so there was no room for faith. With the Pharisees, they believed that you had to do it. So there was never room for faith. And so this leaven that our Lord and Savior Jesus is warning about, that's being taught by these religious leaders, the, 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 the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, beware of it. Beware of it. And I mean, because there's no room for faith. And the Bible tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But if you listen to the, the leaven or the false doctrines of the Pharisees, then you're, you, you're, you're only trusting in yourself. And also on the other extreme, with the 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 leaven, the false doctrine of the Sadducees, because they don't believe in the supernatural, then they're not going to have any faith. They got to trust in themselves, reasoning it away with science and human reasoning and logic. And so, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where we saw in Le as far back as even in the book of Leviticus, chapter two, verse eleven. When you're preparing the meat offering, ha let it have no part of leaven. Let it have no part of false doctrine. Because that meat offering is pointing to uh, one of the offerings that pointing to what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was going to do on the cross. You know, the Apostle Paul, he even took it even further when it comes to, to the leaven. He says in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6, and Galatians chapter 5, verse 9, a little leaven 
leaveneth the whole lump. And how does that look? When you try to borrow some of the teachings of these of, of these of these false uh, teachings from the Pharisees or the Sadducees, when you say, "Well, we should at least keep some of the law," or you know, we got to do you know something, you know, we can't just you know just do whatever we want, you know, negating the the wonderful, perfect work. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and somehow, you know, letting, letting a little leaven come in to leaven to ruin the whole lump. You see, it's by faith, it's by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. To God be the to God be the glory alone. And that is when you do it that way, you're honoring what Jesus says by beware of the leaven, the false doctrine of the Pharisees, the false doctrine of the Sadducees. You're honoring when it said in Leviticus chapter 2, verse 11, not letting the meat offering be affected by leaven. And you're honoring what's 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9, yeah, and and Galatians chapter 5, verse 9 speaks of not letting a little leaven to ruin the lump. It's grace alone, with faith alone, in Christ alone. Romans chapter 11, verse 6. And if it be by grace, it's no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be by works, it's no more grace. Otherwise, works is no more works. So faith alone, grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone. And when you do that, you're not letting any leaven come in any way, shape, or form. You're not letting any false doctrine, any false teaching come along. Come along. We're, we're one, and when you believe on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and believe on him alone, you're saved. And once you're saved, you're always saved. You don't have to do anything to, but just believe. And when you, when you, when, when, and when you, when you, and then and when you're in that mindset that, 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 that you just believe alone, there's no leaven that come in. If there's like anything like talking about, oh, you got to do works or, or you, 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 you know, you're, you're saying that you could do whatever you want. Oh, that's leaven right there. No. You believe on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you're saved. And everything else, and just believe it that way. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. Not the leaven of the Pharisees, not the leaven of the Sadducees, not the doctrines of the Pharisees, not the doctrines of the Sadducees, but faith alone and Christ alone. By his grace. <laughs> Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his constant to you. May the Lord give you peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling and keep you from falling and present you false in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it says it as far back as Leviticus chapter 2, verse 11. Don't let any leaven come to that meat offering. And that meat offering is the finished work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless. <laughs> God bless.